Hey, what's up, my friends? It's Steve from Straight Fire Picks. We have best bets for NBA here for you today on Monday, January 29th, 2024. We got NBA player prop spreads predictions here for you today. We're going to have five picks that are great value bets for this Monday NBA slate. As always, we'd just like to thank you all for your continued support here on the channel. If you're new to the channel here today, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Always appreciate that. We are on the road to 5,000 subscribers. Make sure you guys check us out on social media as well. Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, at Straight Fire Picks. More picks, content, recaps, ladder challenges, stuff like that. Also, be sure to check out our community Discord page as well. It's absolutely free. You get access to the chat, more ideas for picks. And uh, just a great way to connect with our community and uh, what we do here at the channel. Also, drop your favorite pick down below in the comment section. If I like your pick included in our comment capper section, just be sure to put a star or an asterisk next to your pick. And we'll include your pick in the video if it hits. Okay, guys, now it's time for a shout out to our straight fire MVPs. So, as always, you see this beautiful list here running beside me of all of our straight fire MVPs. Shout out to our newest straight fire MVPs David Good, Jump Rock 17, Chris Lutz, and Trone Hunter. Appreciate you guys for signing up. You guys absolutely rock. If you guys are interested in becoming a Straight Fire MVP, there's a join button down below. The cost is $3.99 per month. You get early access to our picks. Um, some exclusive parlays that we put out from time to time. Um, normally like a lotto parlay. Um, and really, the you know the biggest key to that is just the early access to the picks is what you get with that. You get shout outs on our video. Uh, badge next to your name. Roll call in the Discord. And... Um, Custom emojis, I say that. I think that's about it. But also just a great way to support the channel and what we do here at the channel. So I appreciate all of you guys. Let's get after it here today. Let's do a quick recap from our last episode. This is on Saturday. We were off on Sunday. We ended up going 3-2, and two, another winning day for us. Um, it's kind of a good thing when these are our bad days. You know, we still have a 3-2 and two day on our bad days, which is good. I will definitely take that. Uh, plus .94 units, though. We cashed the Lakers' money line. They came through clutch for us there in double or triple overtime. Now I'm forgetting uh, how many that went. We had Laurie Markkinen over 33.5 points and rebounds. He almost got this in the first half. He had 33 at halftime, almost 34. They took a rebound away. Uh, but then, obviously, he got there easily, finishing with 45. So we absolutely love to see that. Kawhi Leonard under 26.5 points. He lands on the hook with 26 on the under. So we like to see it. He hit a late three in the third quarter to get to 26. So... Uh, hopefully you guys got that at under 26 and a half. I haven't missed on Damian Lillard. Under 11 and a half rebounds with Sesti. Yeah, he went off. He ended up having like 15. Um, I believe he cashed that in the third quarter, unfortunately for us. Um, he did not have a quiet game in that regard. So, uh, But outside of that, though, guys, another good day for us. Like I said, we went three and two. Um, I, will, I will definitely take those days. Uh, we will definitely take the wins, uh, the winning days as they come. Want to set up those five and oh days, right? So... Uh, as far as our comment cappers, we had Eric May, Colin, Jamal Murray, under 23 and a half points. I believe Murray had 20 at halftime and still ended up going under the number. Uh, so great call out there from Eric May. But uh, yeah, outside of that, guys, let's get after it today. Let's get a 5-0 and sweep like we like to do. Let's get right into our picks here. And number one, we got Vince Williams Jr. Over 12 and a half points here for the Memphis Grizzlies. Minus 106 odds on FanDuel. Six of the last eight games for Vince Williams Jr. to this line. The lowest he's had in that span is 10 points. Um, so he's obviously been very solid to this line with this new lineup that we see without Desmond Bain, John Morant, or Marcus Smart. Uh, Vince Williams has been getting a lot of minutes and a lot more volume. Would you like to see that? Not a bad matchup today. The Kings, 10th most points allowed to small forwards, 12th most over the last seven. Ninth most points allowed the shooting guards. Fourth fewest over the last seven. But overall for the season, guys, this is a top ten matchup for small forwards and shooting guards. And you'll see Vince Williams, you know, playing a little bit of both, you know, on the floor. So, um, obviously overall, guys, I like the matchup. I think he'll definitely hit this line. He's been really solid to this line, like I said. Kings 11th most points allowed overall. So, I mean, you're going to see points in this game, I think. Um, and once again, the Grizzlies are a pretty big home underdog. So, I... I don't mind the sprinkle on that Grizzlies money line, but I'm not taking it officially today. I uh, just wasn't quite too comfortable in this matchup. But uh, like I said, a lot of bodies missing here for the Grizzlies. I think Vince Williams will get there for us. So love it there, guys, for our number one pick. We got Vince Williams Jr., over 12.5 points here for the Memphis Grizzlies, minus 106 odds on FanDuel. Okay, and at number two, we got the Phoenix Suns money line here versus the Miami Heat, plus 134 odds on FanDuel. So obviously I love plus value. You guys know how much I love plus value. So the Suns here, guys, won the first meeting with the Heat, 113-97 out in Phoenix earlier this season. Um, so far for the season, Heat 13th, Suns 16th in defensive rating. 
Suns 10th in offensive rating, Heat 22nd in offensive rating. So we have a nice little edge there offensively. And uh, with this lineup all together, Kevin Durant, Bradley Beal, Devin Booker, Nurkic, um, and Grayson Allen, they really have a really nice lineup. And it's just hard to, hard to you know, how do you stop the Suns lineup? Now, they have lost the last couple here on the road to the Pacers and yesterday to the Magic. But I think they, they bounce back here, right? I don't think the Suns team loses three in a row. They had just won four straight on the road prior to these two losses over the Mavericks, Lakers, Pelicans, and Blazers. Really had some solid road wins in there, uh, particularly over the Mavs, Lakers, and Pelicans, obviously. Um, so I think they get back to winning here, guys. I just don't see them completely going on a heavy losing streak with this lineup. They're just too good. Um, and the Heat, in my opinion, just should not be three and a half point favorites at home. They've not been a good home spread team. Suns haven't been a good road spread team. Neither of these teams have been good on the spread. Um, they really haven't. So it's kind of interesting. Uh, but I think here with the Suns, guys, I think straight up on the money line, I'm definitely comfortable playing that um, here versus the Heat. So love it there for number two pick. We got the Phoenix Suns money line here versus the Miami Heat, plus 134 odds on FanDuel. Okay, and at number three, we got Jamal Murray under 7.5 assists here for the... Denver Nuggets, plus 105 odds on DraftKings. This guy's Jamal Murray under and seven out of his last 10, five of his last 10 at home. No point guard has recorded eight assists versus Milwaukee since Chris Dunn of the Jazz on the eighth, where the Jazz went in there and shot the lights out um, and blew the blew the Bucks out at home. And then that's really where the uh, fire Adrian Griffin train started kind of coming in there and how he ended up kind of out of Milwaukee. Um, defensively, obviously, you know, they were having a lot of problems. We're seeing Doc Rivers make his head coaching debut here with the Bucks. Obviously, we're expected to see some improved defense with him. Um, and really, the Bucks haven't been too bad defensively here recently for the season. They're allowing the 11th fewest assists to point guards and the 15th fewest over the last seven games. So this isn't the greatest of matchups for Murray to go over. Uh, he's got some nice trends here recently to the under, which I like seeing that. And also with Doc Rivers' debut, I expect the Bucks to play really well here. I don't mind the Bucks money line up in Denver, honestly. I think there's some good value there as well. I think we could see some uh, some improved defense here for the Bucks. Obviously, you talk about point guards trying trying to get assists. You know, if Murray's going to get assists, a lot of times it'll be to Jokic, right? But with Giannis down there, those assists ain't going to come easy. Um, so if Murray's going to get an assist, get assists, a lot of assists, it's going to be you know probably more primarily on the perimeter, longer jump shots. I'll definitely take my shot with that. You know, obviously. Um, I'm I'm looking at Jokic to go over and assist more than I would Jamal Murray. I mean, when you got Jokic, who's got a huge assist line, I would look for him to get more assists than um, than Jamal Murray in this matchup for sure. Um, and I just think you know this is a line that's just a bit high for Jamal Murray, right? Line just a bit high for him, and for plus value, I'll definitely take it. So love it there for number three pick. We got Jamal Murray under seven and a half assists here for the Denver Nuggets, plus one hundred five odds on DraftKings. Okay, at number four. We got James Harden under two and a half three pointers made here for the uh, Los Angeles Clippers, plus 102 odds on Caesars. My mind started playing games with me with how many teams this dude's been on. <laughs> I'm like, which team is he on now? Wait a minute. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but he's under in five out of his last 10 games, six of his last 10 under on the road, under in 23 out of 39 games this year, and 12 out of 19 on the road he's gone under. So we like seeing that. Overall, those are pretty good trends. He's averaging 6.5 three-point attempts per game on the season. He's maintained that throughout pretty much the whole season. It's about that in the month of January as well. And here, this isn't the greatest matchup as far as this goes for James Harden. Cleveland allows the eighth fewest threes and the eighth fewest three-point field goal percentage um, for the season. So we like seeing that. They'll allow a lot of open threes, right? So... Also, the 11th fewest threes allowed to point guard, so I like seeing that as well. And here, you know, Harden just doesn't have a ton of volume in this offense with Paul George and Kawhi Leonard and all these other guys that could shoot. Um, Harden doesn't have crazy volume in this offense, which is why I like taking him on the under here. So, love it there, guys. For number four pick, we got James Harden under two and a half threes here for the Los Angeles Clippers, plus 102 odds on Caesars. Okay, and finally at... Number five, finally number five, we got D'Angelo Russell over 18 and a half points here for the Los Angeles Lakers, minus 110 odds on points bet. So guys, Russell, seven out of his last eight, uh, going back to the game against the Utah Jazz, he has gone over this line and well over in a lot of these matchups. He's averaging 19 shots per game over the last eight games and 38.7 minutes per game over the last eight games. So 
Uh, volume alone, this is a good pick to take. Uh, aside from the matchup. Uh, honestly, this really is. His last three rogue game logs, 39, 27, and 28. Um, he's been putting up a lot of shots, and he's been really playing well. Um, he honestly didn't start out shooting well last game versus Golden State and then rallied himself and really finished that game off well versus the Warriors, uh, helping the Lakers get that win. We've seen a new D'Angelo Russell over the last, you know, you know, like I said, eight games or so, just a completely different player, um, just more aggressive, a guy that's shooting a higher percentage, a guy that's, you know, really making things happen here for the Lakers and really making the Lakers look different. You know, might have to second guess those trade talks, honestly, uh, if he keeps playing like this. Um, honestly, here for him versus the Rockets, he's actually gone over on three out of the last five games versus the Rockets, which I think is kind of interesting when you consider the fact that I think he's playing some of the best basketball right now in his career. He's supposed to log at 22, 30, 18, 6, and 22 uh, ver last five versus Rockets. Now, the one that's most, you know, valid and most the one I'm looking at is the game he had 22. That was this year versus the Rockets. So, yeah, uh, uh, Rus uh, D'Angelo Russell, guys, that's going to play a lot of minutes. And that's also going to shoot a lot. This is a very reasonable line. Recent point guard lines versus the Rockets here. We saw Colin Sexton go for 28. We had his over that game. I believe we had his over 20 and a half points. Um, in that in that range, anyway. Uh, he went over Jalen Brunson at 30. Tyrese Maxey at 27. And then Tyrese Maxey again at 45. Uh, so point guards have had some success. Uh, point guards that are looking to score. have had some success here versus this Rockets team. Like Spencer Dinwiddie had 10 last night. But he's not the same type of volume shooter at all. So, but I do love it there, guys, for number 5 pick. We got D'Angelo Russell over 18.5 points here for the Los Angeles Lakers. Minus 110 odds on points bet. All right, guys, that's going to do it for our picks. If you enjoyed the content, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Always appreciate that. We are on the road to 8,000 subscribers. Guys, I appreciate all of your guys' support as always. You guys absolutely rock. Well, let's keep rolling here on the NBA. Uh, we're, like I said, we're 56 and 26 in our last 82 picks. 8 and 2 run over our last 10 picks. So we've been killing it in the NBA. Um, and hopefully that can continue, right? We want to keep the, keep the good times rolling. Um, you guys absolutely rock. You guys' support means everything to me, so I appreciate all you guys. Let's keep rolling, though. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button. Outside of that, I will see you guys all back here tomorrow, and uh, have a great rest of your day. We'll catch you next time. Peace out.